chapter 33. These are the journeys of the children of Israel who went out of the land of Egypt by their armies under the hand of Moses and Aaron. Now Moses wrote down the starting points of their journeys at the command of the Lord, and these are their journeys according to their starting points. They departed from Ramesses in the first month. On the fifteenth day of the first month, on the day after the Passover, the children of Israel went out with boldness in the sight of all the Egyptians. For the Egyptians were burying all their firstborn, whom the Lord had killed among them. Also, on their gods the Lord had executed judgments. Then the children of Israel moved from Ramesses and camped at Succoth. They departed from Succoth and camped at Etham, which is on the edge of the wilderness. They moved from Etham and turned back to Paiha Hairoth, which is east of Baal Zephon, and they camped near Migdol. They departed from before Hahairoth and passed through the midst of the sea into the wilderness, went three days' journey in the wilderness of Etham and camped at Mara. They moved from Mara and came to Elim. At Elim were twelve springs of water and seventy palm trees, so they camped there. They moved from Elam and camped by the Red Sea. They moved from the Red Sea and camped in the wilderness of Sin. They journeyed from the wilderness of Sin and camped at Dovka. They departed from Dovka and camped at Elush. They moved from Elush and camped at Rephidim, where there was no water for the people to drink. They departed from Rephidim and camped in the wilderness of Sinai. They moved from the wilderness of Sinai and camped at Kibroth Hateava. They departed from Kibroth Hateava and camped at Haziroth. They departed from Haziroth and camped at Rithma. They departed from Rithma and camped at Rimon Perez. They departed from Rimon Perez and camped at Libna. They moved from Libna and camped at Risa. They journeyed from Risa and camped at Kiheletha. They went from Kiheletha and camped at Mount Shefer. They moved from Mount Shefer and camped at Hareda. They moved from Hareda and camped at Machiloth. They moved from Machiloth and camped at Tehath. They departed from Tehath and camped at Tira. They moved from Tira and camped at Mitka. They went from Mitka and camped at Hashmona. They departed from Hashmona and camped at Mosiroth. They departed from Mosiroth and camped at Benije Arkan. They moved from Benije Arkan and camped at Hor Hagidgad. They went from Hor Hagidgad and camped at Jotbatha. They moved from Jotbatha and camped at Abrona. They departed from Abrona and camped at Ezion Giber. They moved from Ezion Giber and camped in the wilderness of Zin, which is Kadesh. They moved from Kadesh and camped at Mount Hor on the boundary of the land of Edom. Then Aaron the priest went up to Mount Hor at the command of the Lord and died there in the fortieth year after the children of Israel had come out of the land of Egypt on the first day of the fifth month. Aaron was one hundred and twenty-three years old when he died on Mount Hor. Now the king of Arad, the Canaanite, who dwelt in the south in the land of Canaan, heard of the coming of the children of Israel. So they departed from Mount Hor and camped at Zalmona. They departed from Zalmona and camped at Punon. They departed from Punon and camped at Oboth. They departed from Oboth and camped at Iji Abarim, at the border of Moab. They departed from Ijim and camped at Dibon Gad. They moved from Dibon Gad and camped at Almon Diblatheim. They moved from Almon Diblatheim and camped in the mountains of Abarim before Nebo. They departed from the mountains of Abarim and camped in the plains of Moab by the Jordan across from Jericho. They camped by the Jordan from Beth Jeshemoth as far as the Abel Acacia Grove in the plains of Moab. Now the Lord spoke to Moses in the plains of Moab by the Jordan across from Jericho, saying, Speak to the children of Israel and say to them, When you have crossed the Jordan into the land of Canaan, then you shall drive out all the inhabitants of the land from before you, destroy all their engraved stones, destroy all their molded images, and demolish all their high places. You shall dispossess the inhabitants of the land and dwell in it, for I have given you the land to possess. And you shall divide the land by lot as an inheritance among your families. To the larger you shall give a larger inheritance, and to the smaller you shall give a smaller inheritance. There everyone's inheritance shall be whatever falls to him by lot. You shall inherit according to the tribes of your fathers. 
But if you do not drive out the inhabitants of the land from before you, then it shall be that those whom you let remain shall be irritants in your eyes and thorns in your sides, and they shall harass you in the land where you dwell. Moreover, it shall be that I will do to you as I thought to do to them.